sudden they find a way to really understand what you're saying. Okay, you guys know that? Is that true? All right, less than two means the zero or the what? The one. You guys okay with this? You'll be okay for the whole semester. But you gotta practice that. So zero, one, the 70 plus the what? 20, what does that give you? 90. And actually, this is another one of my favorite things to say. And you actually run across this all the time in the statistics book, right? What does it say? What's the statement? No more than two. As if the other phrases were complicated enough, you got this concept of no more than two. What does that mean? <laughs> what does it mean? Is it, what does no more than two mean? If I say, we're going to go shopping, what do girls like to shop? What, what, what kind of things do they like to buy? Shoes. What's the number one thing? Probably on the list. If I had to put something on the list, what would I say? Makeup. Probably shoes. <laughs> shoes. I'm going to say shoes, OK? <laughs> shoes. So if I said to Ashley, Ashley, you can have no more than two pairs of shoes. No more than two. What is she thinking? Well, she's thinking exactly two. But that's not what it is. No more than two means what? It's short for not more than two. Not more than two. Let's think about this. What number, first of all, what number is more than two here? The number that's greater than two or more than two is the three. So the opposite of just that one value is what? All the others, zero, one, and two. You can't have no more than two. You can have exactly two, which is what most people focus on, especially with, 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 with shoes. Or what if you walked away with one? Is that OK? Because that's not more than two. What if you decided not to have any? That's OK, too. It's not more than two. It is the number two or less. You guys OK with that? It's two or less. So, you know, you can say you can, you can have no more than two. That's actually, believe it or not, simpler than saying you can have two or less. Because people don't talk that way. People don't say two or less, right? Do they? Aren't they more likely to say no more than two? I mean, what else do you guys say? I'm just curious, personally. What would you guys say in this situation, if you're in that situation, how do you communicate? What would you say? Maybe not, because most people don't even... It's sort of, you know, flow in, I don't know. So no more than two. Two or less. What percentages? 70 plus 20 plus zero is what? So be careful, because you may think that, you may have the false conclusion that the statement less than two and no more than two are the same statements. They're not. It's just that. One of them had a percent of zero. Because you say, oh, they're both 90. That must be the same. No. This is just coincidence. Thank you. OK? Well, the statements are not the same. Whew. Between 1 and 3. Between 1 and 3, what does that mean? Well, let's think about this. What does it mean to be between 1 and 3? Mm -hmm. Between one and three? You can conclude that it's just two. However, for these type of questions and in statistics, when we say between one and, between one and three, it's really between one and three with the word inclusive. Do you know what that means? Include the one and include the what? 
3. Are you okay with that? So the data values that are between 1 and 3 are here. It's obviously the 2, but if we include 1 and 3, it's 1, it's 3. It's never going to be exclusive, so don't worry. And you go, oh my god, are you going to tell me that? So well, by default, it's, it's what it means, OK? It's inclusive between 1 and 3. So what percentages are they? 20 plus 0 plus 1, uh, 10% is what? 30. You guys okay with that? Sure. Is it break time? Should I give you a little break? Okay, let's give you, let's give you about a 10 minute break, okay? We'll be back at 12.35. Hi. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's up in here, if you can pick that up. Okay, hold on. Let me erase this and wash my hands, okay? Hi. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So let me ask you another question. Again, we'll take a convenient sample. This time, I'm going to ask you how old are you? Nice. You guys think, oh, he's trying to be nosy. No, these questions I've been asked, I've been asking these questions forever, and it's for good reason, and we'll point that out. Okay? Here we go. 22. How old? Nine. How old? 22? 30? 36. 36, okay. Now, how many data values do we have here? You guys notice we have 20 data values? OK, is that true? If you counted, there's 20. So the sample size is what again? And how do I really know that? Because I took the same convenient sample. I actually asked the same people. So there should be 20 there, right? And so if I go now, since I've went through the process of gathering data, and now I go do what? organize my data. I'm going to organize my data into a frequency table. So what I now have is data that is consists of values that represent ages, not number of children anymore, but ages. Okay? How am I going to go about organizing